Guys, it's almost done. R2D2, the body. It's looking good. This was my custom design. I put all these uh, vents and uh, holes in it because I'm gonna put the uh, LED lighting inside there and that's gonna give it some color, like that bluish tint that R2D2 has. It's gonna be really, really nice. Can't wait. I've already got the head made. Here's the head. It's got those slotted vents in there. Up top, all the LED lights are gonna shine up right through all these. Give it some nice color. Can't wait. Looks like it turned out really well. There is some supports on the lower part. All done. Um, okay, we're going to start. First thing you want to do, take your top off. Uh, we're going to install our LED lights by Govee, number one. They go in really easy. They stick very well to this uh, PLA plastic. And you just want to start out from your end here, your plug-in that's going to plug into your actual uh, controller and power source, right? So we're going to start out with this end. We're going to want to peel it here first. Peel back the uh, protective 3M sticky adhesive uh, coat. So we're going to stick this in there inside so that we have some really nice ambient lighting. So this, you know, would be nice on a shelf or a table. What I like about the Gobi lights is um, they work with uh, music or audible detection. So they'll start flashing and turn on when it hears voices or music. It's really cool with music, but it's, it's cool as well. Just when you're sitting across the room having a conversation and your R2-D2 seems like it's participating when you see its lights flashing on and off across the room. It's really cool. I believe the GoV LED strip lights like this run just under 30 bucks. Sometimes you can catch a coupon code on them on Amazon. Okay. Now, I run it from around the... If you're looking at the back side, it's the right of the back side. I made a, a slot down underneath there. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a slot that I uh, designed this device with so that it sticks in there and doesn't interfere with your Google Mini or Echo Dot. Uh, but then when you get to the end here, you're going to have to fold it and come up to the second level. This is where your Wise Cam will sit in here on that dowel in the center. So we're going to run it around there too as well, all these lights. So I'm going to just guesstimate because I can't put the roll through there. I'm just going to cut it off. Where's my scissors? Just a moment. Okay, I'm just going to cut it off about this length right here. So you don't need very much of that, uh, the GoV LED strips for this project. Uh, these are great for television screens for the back of your television, stuff like that. They, uh, they come with the hangers to help you uh, adhere them to the back of a television set or any small project. Once you see how these operate, uh, you're going to think of all different projects that you'd like to use these on. So I'm going to come up through the hole. There's a hole down in through here and come up to the second level of R2-D2, right? I haven't peeled off the backing yet because I don't want it to stick yet. I've only got it stuck on the lower level right now. So just feed that through there. And sometimes it's tricky 
uh, to get this folding going right here where you have to angle it upwards into that second level. Get it twisted the right way. Guys, I think you're gonna have a lot of fun with this and get tons of compliments. So you might have to buy a 3D printer because all your friends are gonna to wanna to have one. They're gonna want you to print one for them. If you don't have a 3D printer, there are some 3D services online uh, where you can just submit the file. I'm gonna leave the file below here of this video so you can, you can submit the file to anybody once you download that file uh, of this design and then have anybody print it for you so you don't have to go out and buy a printer right now. Okay, so I just kind of folded this and went up to the second level and then I got to make another fold up here to go into that channel that I've printed out. Just be uh, cautious with your folds. You don't want to fold any LED uh, lighting diodes or anything like that. Keep them flat as you just press them up against the side of your surface there. In the channel, you'll see the channel uh, when you get this thing up close. And then, uh, let's see, I'm actually gonna, I got enough here, I'm gonna run another row up just a little bit higher. more lights in there the better make it nice and bright because it has to come up all that light has to come up and shine through these elements in this head right all these little uh, spaces I put in really makes it look uh, nice cool to look at in the evening time set the mood in your living room or game room just have this lit up going okay guys this is it I'm gonna cut it right here all right so it didn't really use that much of the Govies but the main reason I got these and not a smaller strip is for the Govi controller this thing is cool it works on your smartphone it's got an app Govi home app and it's got a little microphone right here and this thing is what makes the lights activate with sound. And I've even made a spot, ingenious of me, right? Made a spot down below here on the back side of R2-D2. And this controller slides right in there, right? Oh, this one's kind of snug, but it'll slide right in. And I don't want to put it all the way in right now. We've got to get it set up. Well, actually, I think I can put it in all the way. Yeah. Okay, we got it in. So that fits right in there so every everything has a spot for it on here guys the only thing is the cords the cords can be a hassle on this but uh, I mean I just use the tie strips and keep them tied up last thing we got to do is plug in our uh, power cord to the end of the LED strip on there And that power cord goes on one way. Make sure you look at it before you start plugging it in. Because there's a, like a clip design on one side that clips over a tap. So it's really only one way you should be able to do it. But you could force it in the other way and, and that would be wrong. The lights won't light properly. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap the cords up later. But first, the next thing we're going to do is go to our dot. I've already preset that up. It's ready to go. Why is it still running? Okay. Alexa, what time is it? It's 4.35 p.m. Okay, it's working now, guys. All right, back to the project. Now this will just slip right into the back side. If you can see that on camera there. Just enough room for it. Be careful with your tab on your LED strips right there. It will slide right in, though. Plenty of room. Google Home Mini fits in here as well. All right. Next component, guys, the Wise Pan Cam. Now this turns back and forth, right? And that's what's gonna give this unique R2 its uh, movement functionality. So that's gonna fit 
perfectly right in here. Make sure your lens for your pan cam is coming out the biggest uh, round hole on this uh, R2 head. It's pointing at the same direction. Just press it in there it'll, until it stops. Fits in there pretty well. And this will go, we'll have to plug it in first. We'll get our power cord up here. The power cord will go in the back, but up onto the second level you'll uh, put that at. When you put your power cord in here, plug it into your wise cam, and then your wise cam will fit right down in here. You'll see a dowel in the middle, and make sure your your connector comes out the back side of that uh, little round disc down there, a ring, and it fits in there to hold the wise cam in there securely. And our lights are working. Camera should be powering up now. What I got, what I like to use are these uh, Velcro wrap strips for any extra cords. I'll leave the links below to these. And I just take the cords in the back and just kind of wrap them together here. Uh, just wrap them around here just to give them some sort of uh, order so they're not spread all around. There you go, nice and neat, right? R2D2, we're gonna check it out now. I'm gonna go into my phone and it's set onto music mode currently. As you can see, when I talk, the lights are coming on. We've got our uh, mic down here, slipped in down here. All right, we're getting our wise camera activated and we're gonna take a look at it in the app here. And I apologize today, I'm doing this a different way. Hopefully this is the we find the right camera. I've got several, quite a few of these uh, wise cameras now in my office at work as well as uh, at home. Now guys, here it is. I'm gonna zoom in so that you can see it. And if you take your uh, finger in this mode right here, and just slide it across the screen to whatever direction you wanna go. Notice the head is moving. You can slide it up, Point, the camera will tilt up. Or down, that was down, okay, now we're tilting up. Okay, now I'm gonna go the other way. And notice the, uh, the head is going around. It can go 360 and then back 360. It can't keep spinning and spinning. Hope you guys can see that. And uh, I'll move over here so you can see the head move as well when we turn the wise camera. So, Echo. Let's see. Do we have this turned on? I think I changed the name. What is it? Alexa, computer, what time is it? It's 4.47 p.m. 4.47, guys. And we've got a smart R2-D2 working very nicely so there you have it guys uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already uh, also i have a facebook channel uh, tw home show on facebook and i want to thank everyone who has uh, watched my videos in the past and purchased products like these from my links below on amazon it's really helped my channel out a lot that's how you're getting this uh, new camera picture right here. I've got an upgraded to a new camera and a new mic system. You can probably hear me a lot better now with the new mic, it's wireless. Uh, so I really appreciate that guys. Thank you very much for buying from the links in my videos below uh, the videos. And guys, thanks again, and I'll see you on the next video. Computer, set R2D2 to blue.